Hey guys, One Piece Nation here today to bring you my review for Digimon Adventure Tree. Now, or try, whatever, but this movie, theory, whatever it is, you know, I'm not really sure, is amazing. Now, I had not been keeping up with Digimon for years. The last Digimon series I watched to completion were probably a uh, Digimon Data Squad, with the Japanese ter name for that would be Digimon Savers. Now, I did, I do love Digimon, I loved it as a kid, but I'm not going to stay here and tell you I really fully understood what was going on. Okay, I'm not going to stay here and tell you I knew, I, I remember it very well, because I don't. Now, I do plan on, on re-watching it in Japanese, and maybe do like a, doing a total theory review, or like, I don't even know, like, episode reviews, I don't know, but I'm going to do something with Digimon. With Digimon. The original Digimon, not not Adventure 2. I remember Adventure 2 being garbage. I remember that, that Adventure 2 was not very good, but I really liked it then, alright? The animation was amazing. The voice acting, a, a round of applause for that voice acting. It was amazing. What else? Oh, uh, just, oh my god. The music. The, the, be, when you know the first the, the first opening that isn't really an opening, but it just had the music in the background with Ty riding to school on the bike. That was amazingly done. The epi uh the episode opening with all the Digimon and everything in it, amazing. Um, what else? Oh, that music when when they all start Digivolve for the first time was great. Now this is one of the things I mean when I know know too much about Digimon. I remember watching it, but it was like ten years ago. So it's very rusty. It's like, it's more rusty than my, it's, it's probably more rusty than my Bleach knowledge. And my Bleach knowledge is pretty damn rusty. But my Digimon knowledge is, oh my god. It's so, I watched, I watched the Digimon when I was like six years old. You had to realize that. But, why would, I don't remember, uh, Gatomon. Why would Gatomon not Digivolving? Like, was there a reason for that? I, I don't remember. Uh, I mean, I think from what I understand, I could be wrong, but isn't Gatomon her champion form? And it appeared that they were only using champion forms until, um, Tai and Matt, or Taichi and Nam Yamato, uh, you know, had got Agumon and got, and, uh, see, I don't even remember all the Digimon's name, but until, you know, Tai and Matt and Health their, and their Digimon digivolved into... I know the English name of being Omnimon, but it was Omegamon. Omegamon in English. Yeah, but Omegamon, that was amazing. That was the only time they went above champion level, from what I remember. So, I'm assuming the reason Gato, I, like, that disappointed me a little bit, because, you know, I kind of wanted to see Gatomon Digivolve in the new animation. That would have been pretty cool, but I guess we're not going to see that. Um, I like what you're doing. With, like, hinting about repairing and stuff. You can see they're doing a little thing with that. I like that. I really do. Because, I'm gonna be honest, I do. I remember some of them. I remember who. If there was one thing I wanted for Digimon when I was a kid, it was Ta, uh, Kari and TK. I wanted Kari and TK. I wanted that. I was all for that. Like, it actually bothered me the whole Kari and David thing. It pissed me the hell off. Still to this day, it bothered me a bit. But, you know, the point is that that is. I'm, I don't honestly know if they're going to rewrite the ending to Digimon. It's the same thing as they're doing with Dragon Ball Super. I don't know what they're going to do. Maybe they're, I don't, they may rewrite the ending. Maybe they won't. I don't know. Just like they may rewrite the ending of Dragon Ball Z. Like, who knows? But they may write the ending, rewrite the ending of Digimon Adventure 2. Now, there, there was this scene in the beginning with doing all the Digimon Adventure 2 cast that were only for that season be taking, being taken out. Now, I'm, that did have an impact because I know them and their Digimon are powerful. So that would, that would be the only impactful part because, once again, I don't really care too much about those characters. I never did. I do really like, though, like the original Digi Destin and it, it was so nostalgic. There were a couple times when I almost screamed. I was actually at my grandparents in their apartment when I watched it. And, uh, and you know, they, it's an apartment and it was like 11 at night and there's a kid in the, in the, you know, apartment next to them, so I couldn't be, and I, they were sleeping, and I couldn't scream, so I had to actually, like, 
I actually put the scream into a pillow. Because I would just, I felt so much nostalgia, and it was, it was so amazing. Like, when, when, when Agumon did evolve into Greymon, I would just, I was just like, I'm done. I am done. I am done. I, I, I was, I, I got, I actually got a little emotional. I didn't cry, you know, I don't have that kind of attachment to Digimon. I like it, I love Digimon, but I don't have that level of attachment to the series. But I did get a little emotional, I, I actually, you know, man, okay, I may have watered a bit, but it, it, it was so good. As you can see, guys, this is not a professional review. This is just me giving my thoughts on Digimon Try. You can, you know, I need to rewatch Digimon. I can't really review it. I understand. I didn't fully understand it, but I still loved it. Um, I loved it. Concept of the infected Digimon. I really like that. I like how they're they're hiding the Digimon and they're actually making it be like these things are dangerous. I always wondered about that. Why it is that nobody. Thing to give a shit that there were these like creatures high wood going around fighting. Like, I, like, you know, I remember my Otis Mon, right? It was my Otis Mon who caused all the trouble in the human, in the real world, in the first, de in the first season when they were looking for Kari, you know, Digimon. I remember that. And I don't remember, do people, did, did everybody forget that happened? I don't think they did. I don't remember there ever being a plot point of making the people there forget about that. So it doesn't really make sense to me. But that was, that was epic. I'll give them that. That was epic. Um, just, the whole thing was amazing, to be completely honest. The whole thing was really, 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 really good. I really liked it. Uh, one, um, one thing I will say is I like how they're have, doing, like, the ta. I love how they're having uh, the match thing. Like, I love how match still is in music. I like that. I ha I never understood some of the career choices at the end of the series. Astronaut? Really? Really, Matt? An astronaut? I'm like, it wasn't Matt's whole thing, the entire damn theory music. In season one, he had his little, uh, he had his, he had, he had that, uh, he had, his, he had an instrument with him at all times. And, and then he had uh, his own band in season two. It just, it didn't make sense to me. Why he ended up as a freaking astronaut. I never understood that. I guess I can see Kari being a school teacher, but I don't really know. But and it, just, it was so good. Alright? It was epic. It was really good. I really enjoyed it. So yeah, it, this isn't a very good good video. I apologize. But this is just me giving my thoughts on it. This is, I, I may not even title it review. I don't know. But... Digimon Try was just, it was so good. But undoubtedly, my favorite part of it really was just seeing the characters again. I love how we see Ty, he's an adult now. When, you know, when he was a kid, he was innocent. He didn't notice. He was so focused on what he was doing. And so, you know, one track of mine, he, none of them really noticed what they were causing, but destructing. I guess he never noticed it. And I love how they're showing him, like, seeing it now, like, People are um, get, getting injured, buildings and homes are being destroyed. Are we doing the right thing? I love that concept in Digimon. I think it's amazing. Another thing I loved about the, with that confrontation between Ty and Matt, I think that was done amazingly. Especially considering you know the conflict they had in Season 1. I really liked that a lot. I loved that scene. Oh, I also, one of my favorite things of all thing is that thing with TK and Kari, because I find it very funny. You know, I think it was, I don't really remember that detail, but I loved how, like, I think, you know, but, okay, it was, T, it was, TK was like, okay, Kari was going somewhere, Kari was going to do something, I think, and TK mentioned, um, and TK I mentioned he was going with a girl somewhere, I think, and Kari was like, what? And she was like, jealous. It was, it was, it was, it was, that's the conversation, but it, could, it was either way, I forgot which one. I watched it, like, last weekend, but the point is, is that, oh my god. The point is, is that it was really, really good, alright? I loved it. Um, I honestly, I wish it was a weekly series, but honestly, if there was one thing I would love to do, is actually sit down and critically review this thing weekly, because, you know, if it was weekly, I would catch up to Digimon, and then I could review it weekly. I would, you, know, I would just rewatch some of the episode. I'm, I'm gonna do that anyway, but I would, I would be able to rewatch the episode and then critically review it. But 
sorry about that, my phone. Sorry about that, but you know. It could have gone, it, you know, that's obviously not the case. Which, is, in a way, I would like to review it weekly, but I obviously can't. Which, in a way, is good. Because this way, I can rewatch Digimon Adventure. I may not even rewatch Season 2, but I can rewatch Digimon Adventure just to get the hang of all the characters and stuff again and remember the, and remember the main structure of the story. I can rewatch it before the next thing of episode comes out, and then that will have a nice critical review. But this review is pretty much just me being nostalgic and just saying, listen, this idea to have Digimon Adventure try or tree or whatever, it was amazing. It was really good. The opening is amazing. The, the animation is amazing. The plot looks amazing. It's just, it's really good. If you haven't seen it, I suggest you check it out. But guys, I hope you enjoyed my rambling slash review a Digimon Adventure Tree, or Try, whatever. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. This is One Piece Nation, signing out. Have a great day, guys.